afraid? Do you get a response? It's like he's physically in me. <gasps> It's kind of weird that horror movies are so enjoyable. Why do we take such great pleasure in scaring the hell out of ourselves? If you want to see the darkest horror movies, you should definitely watch our picks for top 10 the best scary horror movies ever made. It's time to grab your favorite movie time snack and try not to get scared. Candyman Candyman 2021 is an American horror film directed by Nia da Costa and starring Yahya Abdul-Mateen II as Anthony McCoy, a visual artist who lives in a gentrified neighborhood in Chicago. He is the son of Helen Lyle, the protagonist of the original Candyman 1992 film, who sacrificed herself to save him from the vengeful spirit of Candyman, a hook-handed killer who haunts the Cabrini Green housing projects. Anthony becomes interested in the legend of Candyman and uses it as inspiration for his paintings. However, he unknowingly summons Candyman and unleashes a wave of violence in the city. He also learns that he has a connection to Candyman and his destiny. The film was made with a budget of $25 million and grossed $77.5 million at the box office. The film is rated R and is suitable for fans of supernatural horror and slasher films. To the neighborhood. You should say, say his name. Candyman! Last Night in Soho Last Night in Soho 2021 is a British horror film directed by Edgar Wright and starring Thomas and Mackenzie as Eloise Turner, a young aspiring fashion designer who moves to London to study at a prestigious school. She rents a room in an old house owned by Miss Collins, played by Diana Rigg. She discovers that she can travel back in time to the 1960s in her dreams, where she inhabits the body of Sandy, played by Anya Taylor-Joy, a glamorous singer who performs at a nightclub. She becomes fascinated by Sandy's life and style, but she also witnesses the dark side of the era, including violence, sexism, and corruption. She realizes that Sandy's fate is linked to her own, and that someone from the past is trying to kill her in the present. She tried to solve the mystery and save Sandy and herself. The film was made with a budget of $43 million and grossed $26.9 million at the box office. The film is rated R and is suitable for fans of psychological horror and time travel films. Pacific love. Save me. Censor. Censor 2021 is a British horror film directed by Prano Bailey Bond and starring Niamh Alger as Enid Baines, a film censor who works during the era of video nasties, low-budget horror films that were deemed obscene and violent by the British authorities in the 1980s. She is haunted by the disappearance of her sister Nina when they were children, which she blames herself for. She becomes obsessed with a video nasty called Don't Go in the Church, directed by Frederick North, played by Adrian Schiller, which she believes contains clues to her sister's fate. She tracks down North and tries to find out the truth about his film and her sister. She also starts to lose her grip on reality and becomes violent herself. The film was made with an unknown budget and was released by Magnet Releasing in the US. The film is not rated and is suitable for fans of meta horror and video nasty films. And all of us. In the Earth. In the Earth 2021 is a British horror film directed by Ben Wheatley and starring Joel Fry as Martin Lowry, a scientist who goes on an expedition to a remote forest with Alma, played by Ella Retorchia, a park ranger. They are part of a research team that is trying to find a cure for a deadly virus that has ravaged the world. They encounter Zack, played by Reese Shearsmith, a reclusive man who lives in the forest and claims to be able to communicate with Parnag Feg, an ancient spirit that inhabits the land. He subjects them to various experiments involving sound and light that are supposed to enhance their connection to Parnag Feg. They also meet Dr. Olivia Wendell, played by Haley Squires, Martin's former colleague who has been studying Parnag Feg for years. They discover that Parnag Feg is not benevolent and that Zack and Olivia have sinister plans for them. They try to escape from the forest and the cult. The film was made with a budget of $1 million and grossed $1.2 million at the box office. The film is rated R and is suitable for fans of folk horror and cosmic horror films. The Forever Purge 
The Forever Purge 2021 is an American horror film directed by Everardo Gout and starring Ana de la Reguera as Adela, a Mexican immigrant who lives in Texas with her husband Juan, played by Tina Cuerda. They work for the Tucker family, a wealthy ranching clan that includes Caleb, played by Will Patton, Dylan, played by Josh Lucas, Cassie, played by Cassidy Freeman, and Harper, played by Levin Rambin. They survive the annual purge, a 12-hour period where all crime, including murder, is legal. However, they soon face a new threat from a group of extremists who call themselves the Forever Purgers. They want to continue the purge indefinitely and overthrow the government. They target anyone who they deem as unpatriotic or unworthy, including immigrants, minorities, and the wealthy. Adela, Juan, and the Tuckers try to escape from the Forever Purgers and reach the Mexican border, where they hope to find safety. The film was made with a budget of $18 million and grossed $79.4 million at the box office. The film is rated R and is suitable for fans of dystopian horror and action thriller films. Does this translate? Saint Maud. Saint Maud 2021 is a British horror film directed by Rose Glass and starring Morphid Clark as Maud, a devout Christian nurse who works as a private caregiver for Amanda, played by Jennifer Ellie, a former dancer who is dying of cancer. Maud becomes obsessed with saving Amanda's soul and believes that God has chosen her for a special mission. She tries to convert Amanda to Christianity and performs various rituals on her. She also experiences visions and sensations that she interprets as signs from God. However, she also faces doubts, temptations, and rejections from Amanda and others. She becomes increasingly unstable and violent as she pursues her holy quest. She also reveals her dark past and her true identity. The film was made with an unknown budget and was released by A24 in the US. The film is rated R and is suitable for fans of psychological horror and religious horror films. Here are the top 10 scariest dark horror movies in the world. These best horror movies of all time don't just want to haunt your nightmares, they want to sneak under your skin to haunt you in your waking moments too. Do you agree with our list? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more, check out other clips from Top 10 Movies Horror, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of our latest videos. The annual purge will conclude in three.